Now, if you found the recent cold snap tough, well, there's another one coming, but just imagine spending 48 hours in a cold chamber where the temperature is minus 40 degrees. That's the same Celsius and Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. It's an important part of the preparation for a trek to the South Pole. Breakfast with Richard, Richard Westcott is in Boscombe Down in Wiltshire on the other side of the screen, I think. I don't actually right think side, he's... Isn't yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're the right side of that screen. Morning. It's nice and warm here. It's lovely and warm here. It's minus 37 degrees in there. It's a daunting prospect for anyone, even an Olympic rower, James Cracknell and Ed Coates. They spent two days in this industrial freezer. We're going to get them out now and just have a chat with them. Come on, guys. Sleep deprivation. They've been tested to the limits. They've had wind chill put on them in there, so getting it down to about minus 50. They've had their tent knocked over on purpose to see how they deal with the crisis. Hardly Ooh. slept in the last two days. Wow. Guys, welcome it's to the warmth. It's a better place for Big Brother, that's yeah. for sure. That. I mean, and it looks, even standing here, you can feel the chill coming through. It's horrendous. What's it like spending two days in there? Uh, it's fairly horrible. It's the um, first time I've done that, and James and Ben have been there before. And it's, um, it's the longest water as I've had in my life. It was very monotonous what we were doing. We were in there, sort of on a treadmill, monotonously, you know, doing 12 hours on. We got very little sleep. I think we had four four hours maybe in, in sort of 72 hours before we actually... So you, so you do get some sleep, do you, while you're in? You can't drop off to sleep, can you? Yeah, yeah no, you, you, you actually got off of sleep very quickly because we were doing that sort of 12 hours on the treadmill when we were in there. And then we have about six hours rest, but you also got to melt water, or melt ice to make water, and then cook food, have a sleep, and then melt again for all the drinks you need during the day. So it, it's all of this organisation. So we, we're only probably going to get two and a half hours sleep, and then they were testing us by letting the tent down, turning on the rain machine, and, and just sort of trying to recreate all the horrible things in Antarctica. And I don't really want to go now. No, it's, it's the 1st of January, isn't it, your game? I mean, it's a daunting prospect, skiing 400 plus miles, those kind of temperatures, none of the help the other side of a bit of glass. I mean, are you, are you nervous, worried, scared about it? I'm definitely daunted by it. I mean, we've just spent 48 hours in there, we've covered 63 miles by a treadmill, and that's only, that's less than an eighth of what we've got to do out there, and we both went in there feeling a, a little bit of man flu, and we both come out with, um, Quite feeling quite chesty with uh, our immune systems definitely took a battering while you know while we were in there, and so you know when you, you calculate how long we we're going to be in Antarctica for, that's a, it's a lot of uh, sort of time. So uh, you know we, we're physically strong, but in there it's a mental exercise as well, and um, we've learnt a lot. I think these past two days about the cold and um, what, all the things that we're going to need to do in Antarctica, um, and how we'll cope down there. I think I feel we're better probably prepared than we were. Two days ago. I mean, you're obviously, two of you. Ben Fogel's the third member of the team. He's unwell at the moment. Any quick news on how he's doing? If he's going to be joining you? Well, we should actually find out later today. His treatment is for his, his, his leash mitosis, which is a tropical uh, disease. It, it was a month treatment ends uh, yesterday or, or today, so we should find out. Later. If he's watching, we'll give him a message. Good luck, buddy. You didn't miss much. <laughs> no, it was pretty warm, really. Back to you. Thank they're, you very much. They're normally, they're normally very chirpy, aren't uh, they? Hmm? Well, your James brain would have chirpy. been frozen at those temperatures. Don't you think 48 hours then? No wonder they're not looking forward to no, it. No. Uh, and good luck to Ben Fogel as well. Coming up, 